Hello and welcome to Kaula Vision's Your Inner World mini-series. Today is part five of this mini-series and it's our last discussion that we're going to have that's been specifically focused on our Napisha Bahamas, our animal soul or our natural consciousness. So today we're going to talk about the practicality of the Napisha Bahamas, what I like to call the care and feeding of the Napisha Bahamas. Um, how to keep ourselves, this, this part of ourselves healthy. So how do we do this and why do we even care about keeping our Nefesh Bahamas healthy? If it's the lower part of ourself and, and we're kind of meant to transcend it in a reason, who cares how it's doing? Why don't I just, you know, hop over it? Why don't I just, you know, ignore its needs if they're so physical and so selfish? So let's talk. So how do we have a healthy Nefesh Bahamas? How do we keep our Nefesh Bahamas healthy? On a physical level, we all need to get enough quality sleep. We all need to eat good, nutritious food, and we all got to exercise a little bit. We have to keep our physical selves healthy. And on an emotional and um, intellectual and even spiritual level, we need to feel appreciated. We need to feel like we are um, working towards something in life, like we have a purpose in life. We need to have healthy, productive, and peaceful relationships with people in our life especially those closest to us, spouses, siblings, children, parents. We need to have healthy relationships because when the Nefesh Bahamas is, um, is you know, having problems that are, that are distracting it emotionally and, 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 um, and psychologically, it's not at its full strength. It's not able to um, function in its in its full power and the same if we're experiencing health issues and obviously everything is as hashgacha pratis is divine providence so we will sometimes experience challenges in relationships and we will sometimes experience um, physical or mental or, or, or emotional health issues and that's part of our mission in this world but as far as we are able to we want to engage in kind of preventative maintenance in order to keep our our Nefesh Bahamas as healthy as possible um, you know in order to meet these challenges if they come our way so why do we care about the Nefesh Bahamas being being healthy to begin with it's because as we mentioned before our Nefesh Bahamas is um, is our the crucial partner of our Nefesh Elokis, our godly soul, our true, true, true self um, in fulfilling its mission in this world. The godly soul, the Nefesh Elokis, which we're going to start really talking about tomorrow, um, comes to this world in order to refine and elevate the Nefesh Bahamas, in order to express itself within this physical world. It's through our Nefesh Elokis that we fulfill um, God's dream and purpose for this world of maybe making this place um, this physical world, a place where God is revealed, where we, you know, we engage in Torah and mitzvahs, we work on ourselves. Um, it's through the Nefesh Elokis that we can reveal godliness in this world. But the Nefesh Elokis, as we, as we spoke about earlier, is too high and lofty and spiritual to have any direct influence over the body. So it requires the purpose of the Nefesh HaBahamas in order to, um, in order to express itself within this world. But it's not just that the Nefesh Bahamas is like this middleman with no value of its own. We're really, what, the deeper purpose of why the Nefesh Elokis is here is also to elevate the Nefesh Bahamas itself. And the Nefesh Bahamas knows that this is its, its true purpose. So we also need to feel, even from a Nefesh Bahamas lower self, natural conscious level, that we are in service to something higher. Because even though um, the strongest and most primary drive of the Nefesh Bahamas is to be in service to itself, to seek its own comfort and its own welfare, um, ultimately it knows that its deeper purpose is to be in service to something higher. And that's why um, we are able to cooperate with our Nefesh Elokis to begin with. But that's also an important part of having a healthy Nefesh Bahamas is, is that um, we do allow it to express this, this higher purpose and we bring it into the service of our Nefesh Elokis, our godly soul, which again, we're gonna speak more about tomorrow. But the, the, all the natural talents and passions and desires that we have, they're not meant to be ignored. They're not meant to be, um, we're not meant to say like, oh, that stuff is like this world, all that stuff is cleep, but let me just, let me forget about it. Like, let me just sit in front of a book all day or listen to Torah Shiram all day and do nothing else. That's not really what 
um, divine service is all about. That's not what this deepest divine service that our Nefesh Bahamas was designed for is all about. We are programmed with natural interests and passions and talents and gifts. And, um, you know, as long as these um, passions and, and, and gifts are in the realm of, the, of what's permissible to us, meaning the Torah did not say, don't do this. And when the Torah tells us not to do something, it's because it's, it's unhealthy for our souls. Um, but as long as it's in the realm of the permissible, we need to take the pleasure and passion that we have in that thing and, and elevate it. So let's say that um, uh, uh, pleasure that I have in Klippa, I already gave the example of clothes, so we won't go there. Let's say that I love music. I just, I love all types of music. It's my real passion and pleasure. That That's a Klippa pleasure. It's, you know, it's of this world. Um, so how can we elevate like a passion or a talent that we have for music? You can you can listen to and and write and create music that is going to help to elevate people's minds. That's going to arouse their um, their emotions and the passions and desires of the Nefesh HaBahamas and make this passionate um, emotional part of ourself directed toward Hashem, toward God, toward Torah and mitzvahs, to to bring out emotional inspiration in people. And, um, you know, music is one of the biggest tools um, that we have to, to affect our emotions. When we are, um, the Lubavitcher Rebbe teaches actually that when you listen to um, somebody's music, you're really, you're really connecting to their emotions and, e and even to their soul. So we want to be choosy about um, whose music we're, we're listening to because, you know, it arouses our emotions and even connects us to... Um, the, the artist on, on a spiritual level. So we want to be choosy about who we're connecting to in, in such a way. But that's one way to elevate um, a klipa permissible pleasure um, toward godliness. And this can apply to any passion or gift or talent that you have. The real, real, real tachlis, the real main point is that um, our gifts and talents and passions and interests should not, we shouldn't step away from them. We should use them instead to um, to elevate ourselves and to elevate other people. So we talked, we gave the example of um, of a horse earlier, that the Nafsha Bahamas is like an amazing horse with all of this these talents and, and this power and passion. And left in its natural state, it's just kind of do what it does. But when we work with it um, and, and we use it for higher purposes, it, it can do so much more than, than a person could do on its own when, when a person is working in tandem with a horse. So it's the same with our, with our Navish Bahamas. It's, it's power and, and passions and pleasures. That is all part of, of um, how it's meant to serve God. We're meant to take all of these things that are natural to us, even our temperaments, to work on them and to use them in the service of God. So the exercise for today is just to think about those things in this world that you're passionate about. You know, it could be um, interior design, could be writing, could be computer programming, could even be, you know, politics. Um, anything, anything in this world that's permissible that you feel passionate about and think, what are some practical things that I could do to um, connect this to God, to use, to use this to inspire myself and other people, to use this in the service of helping other people um, to, do, to learn more Torah, to do mitzvahs, to wake up, to work on themselves, to feel better, to heal. How can I use my natural pleasures and interests and talents and gifts in the service of God, in the service of my nafesh which we are going to, God willing, meet tomorrow. Have a great day.